Hey everybody, welcome back to Schimmel Woodworks. I'm Chad and today I wanted to talk about my new bandsaw, the Rikon 14 inch and bandsaw jigs and sleds. So I'd been needing a new bandsaw for quite some time and I was doing a lot of research. I wasn't pulling the trigger really fast and the main reason was is I didn't want to do it for a long time after that so I wanted to make sure I got the right unit. And my biggest complaint with my old saw was it only had a six inch resaw capacity. Now, I don't do a ton of resawing, but when I do do it, it's always more than six inches. And what I like to cut a lot are big logs or logs, they're not necessarily big, but the old one just couldn't do it. So I looked around, I shopped around, and it came down between this Rikon 14 inch and the Laguna 1412 and they were real close. The Laguna was a little more money, but that was okay. But this thing just had a lot of features that I thought you couldn't pass up uh, even better than the 1412. So a big thing for me was electricity. Although it would be nice to have a 220 bandsaw, I didn't want to pay an electrician to come in and run more power down here. So I just wanted to use the 110 that I already had. And this being a one and a half horse, it's a 110. It's very impressive so far. I've cut up a lot of stuff with it already and I'm really impressed with the power. It has more than enough for what I need. If you were doing big, heavy, wet stuff, maybe not, I don't know, but I'm really impressed with it so far. It has a lot of nice features. It's got the 14 inch resaw capacity. Uh, it's got windows all over it so you can see your tension. It's got a tension release in the back. The cabinets are really well built the way they open. Uh, they have nice locking systems. And this is a big one, it has cast iron wheels, whereas my old one had aluminum wheels and you could tell that them being light created vibration and, and different things. So that's a nice feature as well. It also has a really big uh, table here and I've been really happy with the size of it. It's got the fence that came with it. The old one I had to spend extra money for the fence. And it's got this two, um, two slide table so when I built my jig I'm going to show you I use that and it may or may not work but we're going to try it so that was another nice thing also it has this storage cabinet at the bottom I don't think you can see it but it's got a shelf in there and it's just nice anytime you can have extra storage in the shop it also has a light I'll probably switch this out to something else because it tends to keep falling in its place or I'll somehow hold it up there tighter but all in all, a lot of features, a lot of, you get a lot for your money here with this saw. And uh, I picked it up at Woodcraft, it was on sale. They were having a 10% off sale. So that just made it uh, the final time to purchase. It was around $8.99 minus 10%, so a real good deal. Okay, so like I said before, I wanna be able to cut up stuff like this. And that's a slice I already, I already cut, but like this thing here. And just putting it through the bandsaw, it can be done. And I may have done it when I first got the saw because I was really excited, but it's not recommended. It can definitely uh, move on you and catch and cause some problems. And it's definitely a safety thing. So, so what I did was I built this jig and I built this jig to, to function in two ways. One, in a cross cut manner like this. And there again, I use both rails. And then two, I can move this backer here sideways and do a long uh, like mill type cut. So that way I have two functions and I can do it two ways. So how I did this was I created this little uh, sled pusher thing here. I don't know what you'd call it. And I put a series of holes in it. So this, this thing has three holes in it here, here, and here. And they're all the same hole pattern. So what I did was I just made this little template and I put the hole pattern and then I turned it and put the hole pattern. And then using the square off of the, the, the uh, sled here, I put the same hole pattern in various places. So this can actually move like this or like this with just two simple thumb screw type things. Now also, if just having the support wasn't enough or if your log is a, a shape that you don't want laying on here, I did put holes in the, in the uh, backer here to where I could mount the log up in the air or crooked or whatever to make it work for what I need. So now that you've seen how this little simple sled works, let's try it out on a couple of logs. So what I've got here is a piece of Brazilian pepper tree. A friend gave this to me. It's an amazing looking tree. It's a really red color with really cool black lines through it. It's really neat. I'm going to use it for some pens and some other things. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't have any screws in it because the being against the fence here, it holds it nice and firm. 
So let's give this thing a try. So that worked really well. The disc actually fell over the back, but uh, it gives me a nice way to, to slide this through. I think one addition after that first cut is maybe I'll make a uh, handle that mounts to this piece to where I can have a better pushing. I, I guess this is fine or holding here, but uh, it would be nice to be able to just shove it a little more. Nice clean cut. That's a really cool red tree. It's really wet. So now I'm gonna turn the fence the other way and we'll make a long cut and see how that goes. So now I've turned the fence and I'm gonna cut this piece of mesquite. This is really the only thing I have in the shop that I can cut long ways to see how it goes. Now I could put a screw through here. I don't think I need to because um, I've got two surfaces of the fence. Unfortunately, I don't really have a place to move the camera to give you a better angle, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So that was just a thin cut of this mesquite. And this is something I would do more often is probably cut off one or two inch pieces versus just cutting it in half. So it was really easy. It made it a lot safer than just trying to do it by hand. So I think the thing to remember with this kind of a, th a fence is, or a, a jig is it's gonna be a work in progress. I'm sure by the time I'm done, I'll have many more whole sets and ways to position this and I'll figure out better ways of doing it. But that's, that's how we do things here in these shops is we all just try to figure out what works for us. So this is the system I made. And by the way, I would normally run the dust collection, but not for the video. Thing is dusty. But that's the simple fence. You got the two runners and then the different places for the, the back. So very simple design. This bandsaw, I can't say enough good things about it. I really like it. It's been a real pleasure to, to use and cut with since I got it. And uh, I'm really happy about that. So thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.